Bella and I are here at Costco. We are going to be doing a really big grocery trip. Actually, um, we have a family of 11 coming to stay with us for three weeks. So we're not just buying for our family. We're doubling. We are going to be doubling. So you're going to see what it looks like for us to buy for 22 people this is for gonna three be weeks. The biggest. It's going to be a lot. Lydia is our helper today. Mm, look at these. Hi, just these your are gluten free. Oh, that's what we're always hoping for. Oh, good. So I have no shopping list today. It's just all up here. So um, when when that happens, because I did go through all of my stocks at home, I just didn't have time to make out a big list. But that's okay, because what I do is I go up and down every aisle, and um, it just triggers my memory to know what I need. So. It's really busy in here today, so that's kind of making it a challenge, but oops, I'm hitting something. is depleted I'm gonna get extra for the pantry this will last us a long time but I like to have it on hand we are back in for round two and we've already filled up the cart this much we had to get a hot dog to pull this over what about getting a bag of cuties instead yeah that's a good idea I'll grab those so this uh, um this time around we're doing this is all produce and this is all chips that's what we have so far obviously you can't get enough bananas for three weeks but we have a little little tiny grocery store in our tiny town so we can get some things like that there um, and then we're also getting some fruit for the family Easter party on Saturday so that's what this stuff is do you want to get a pineapple I don't think it's gonna be ready let's smell um, I don't know I don't let's just get one they're only two dollars and 89 cents so then let's go. They could even. They're all green. Okay, they're well, all let's solid. get a few for our, our visitors then. All right, get the ones down here that are the most unripe. Okay, we just got in the van. We are heading home. That took two hours. Two hours. What three two hours? overloaded carts. It was a lot of food. I'm going to show you what we bought, and explain a little bit about it okay so this is just a really quick overview we actually have a family of 11 coming to stay with us so that will be 22 people eating for three weeks plus a couple things that I got to stock up on for my um, my food storage okay so for snacks I've got four bags of tortilla chips and three of the potato chips and um, that's just for the chippy snacks of course most of our snacks I don't buy pre-made snacks you'll see that here because it's just expensive when you have a lot of kids and so I bake my own so we bake all kinds of things and um, that's what we do for snacks plus fruit of course and cheese sticks as you'll see later okay so I stocked up on tomato sauce products obviously we won't use all of these but my food storage was really low so I have three boxes with 12 cans each of the tomato sauce three of the diced tomatoes and one tomato paste. I also have three boxes of the baked beans, which fell as it was going on the table. As you can see, the top is popped open, but I use that for baked bean chili. That's a very quick and easy meal. Um, we've got one of this, this is a refrigerated salsa. It has to be refrigerated right off the bat, which we really liked. And then I got two to put in my storage. I'm going to do tacos one night. Um, some you know chili I have 
you'll you won't see any beef products here besides these hot dogs because we had butchered a whole cow. I should also add that we have um, we have pork because we butchered pigs, so we have pork in our freezer. We have ground beef in our freezer, and we get over two dozen eggs a day from our chickens, and we have a dairy cow. So fresh milk you won't see her because we have milk as well. She's not giving enough to make things like yogurt that I was making before, so we're it, she just gives enough to drink right now. Okay, Bella says we've actually been getting three dozen eggs this week, so. That's a lot. Okay, so obviously breakfast will be lots of eggs, fruit, um, that kind of thing. Okay, so then for my frozen food, I, I still had some blueberries and strawberries left in our freezer, but I went ahead and got two more. Blueberries are something we go through a lot of. They put it in yogurt, we put it in smoothies, so we just go through lots of blueberries. I got two more to add to what we already have in there. Then I've got uh, three bags of corn, three of the mixed vegetables, three green beans and broccoli, and I had a few um, vegetables still left in the freezer, so this will add to that. Now I've got two of these two packs of mashed potatoes. Um, this is to make a very quick cottage pie. I used to call it shepherd's pie, but I found out that shepherd's pie is with lamb, cottage pie is with beef. So it's that mashed potato topping with the beef and the vegetables and everything inside, so yummy. Cheese, I like it all. So this will make that meal a lot easier because they're already mashed. Three avocado oil, obviously that's to stock up on my um, my food storage. I still have two left out there, but I like to keep six going at all times. If you um, have been around with my channel for a while, you'll know that we are trying to keep up six months of food on hand at all times, that's just our goal. Okay, then I have a bunch of pizzas here because I thought that might be a fun um, pizza night. So I have two gluten-free and then two of these four packs of the um, cheese and then pepperoni. Underneath it is a case of spaghetti sauce. That is 12 jars of spaghetti sauce. We have six of the jars of peanut butter, some more of this avocado spray, which is so convenient when you want something lightly coated. Three jars of this organic strawberry spread. For lunches, we're going to do. Um, Go. Okay. For lunches, we're going to do easy things like sandwiches. She actually is bringing a bunch of bread, and I am getting some gluten-free bread to have on hand. Normally, I bake sourdough bread, but just to make it easy, we're doing sandwiches. We'll do some spaghetti, some baked potato bars, those kind of easy lunches. And then, of course, just fruit and muffins. And make it really simple. Okay. Um, hot dogs and burgers one night, so I've got three three-packs of beef hot dogs. These are to keep on hand when I need a quick snack for Benjamin. He's been enjoying those. I've got an avocado oil mayonnaise. I do make my own mayonnaise, but sometimes I'm not in the mood, so that's what that is for. Two maple syrups, a raisin, box of raisins, and I have another box already in my pantry, then four bags of these dates. Some of the kids really like these, and they are one of the cheapest dried fruits there. This big bag is just over $6, and it's a big two pound, two and a half pound bag. Um, some chocolate chips. And then this is an item that was on instant rebate. These came to um, around, I think it was around $18 for this, which is um, 142 servings in here. So some of my kids, um, I've been giving them the gummies of these because we just figured out that they were needing some extra magnesium and it's helping them to fall asleep at night and be really relaxed. So I saw this one instead. Now this is a powder. It's not the fun gummies, but it was so much cheaper than the gummies. And so, um, yeah, I got four of those since they were on instant rebate. Okay. Three of the baking crumbles and then two of these giant packs of bacon for breakfast. Over here in the back, I have four yogurts and three sour cream. Also for um, some of the meals, we're going to do just meat and cheese sandwiches. So I have six of these little packages of ham, two um, cheddar cheese slices, and then two, three packs of this, which is turkey and honey ham. What else? Let's move down this way. Okay, so most of the chicken there, now we do have little um, broiler chicks, meat chicks, that we are raising right now because I am completely out of chicken in my freezer. So we have 
25 chickens that we're raising and Plus Bella put 46 in the incubator. 46 in the incubator. So we're going to have well, a lot I of chickens. I put 49, 46 have babies in them. Well, I will have a lot of chickens coming out to stock the freezer. But Bella, can you take her shoes off? Right now I'm out. So whenever I looked at chicken, it was mostly $3 a sum a pound for all types of chicken. Except the drumsticks are 99 cents a pound. So I bought one, two, three, six, six packs. Each of these has six in them. So I have six, six packs of chicken drumsticks to make several meals with. Okay, back here I have two packages of string cheese. These will be good for snacks. I have one, two, three, four, two pounds of cheese. I had planned to go to Restaurant Depot because I like their cheese better. It's not yellow. They just have big blocks of cheese, but it's not going to happen. I just can't. I can't make it there. So this is what I got. Plus I got this, which will make tacos and things easy. This is a really big, uh, each of these is two and a half pounds. I always stock up on all purpose flour, so I have plenty on hand. So I've got three of those. Now bananas, of course, I can't get three weeks worth of bananas, so I just cut a couple to hold us over because they were all, you can see, really ripe. That's just the best we could do. So um, I'll have to get some from our little local grocery store when we need them. Tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, Saturday, we are going to a um, family Easter get-together. And so to make life easier, this vegetable tray was really inexpensive because it's Easter time, of course. So I just grabbed this, it has the dip and everything with it. And then I also got these in addition because kids like lots of carrots. And I'm bringing the fruit trays. So we've got strawberries, blackberries, and grapes. Are you excited about all those? Yeah. And, and then we've got pineapples. I don't know if these will be right for Saturday, but either way, they were only like two, I wanna say 280, Bella, something like that for each one. So I've got three of those. I also got some of my favorite salad. Uh, mix just to have on hand when we need it. So these, they, they used to come in one big bag. Now they divided it and it comes in a two pack, which makes sense. You can make one small portion at a time. Although it's really good leftover in the freezer after you make, or not the freezer, the refrigerator. It's good as leftovers too. So I've got three of those. Now this I like to keep in the freezer on hand for times when um, I do not have a gluten-free option for Bella. For, for most of the people I cook sourdough and she does it as well but every once in a while we have something that she can't have and so I make sure to have these in the freezer they're gluten-free little pitas and it's easy to pull one out and warm it up and then three of the romaine lettuces for salads and whatever else we need them for okay onto the floor because I ran out of table space we have five of these 10 pound bags of potatoes so that's 50 pounds of potatoes yeah this is a pack of small bowls, and I have plates over there. Now that's something that I would have gotten at Restaurant Depot. They have really cheap paper plates there, so I usually buy the, the box of a thousand, but we're just not making it there. Yeah, Bella's reminding me in storage, I have a 50 pound bag of onions, so that's why you haven't seen any onions on any grocery hauls. We were given this huge bag of that. I also have, yep, cabbage in there as well. I think that's it for produce, though. And one box of apples, which... Okay, moving on. You can see this huge box of apples. These are organic gala apples that are delicious, and they were the cheapest apple there. Cheaper than the conventional, just amazing. So, I bought... I think there's... There's nine in there, plus these three. So, that's 12 of these little boxes, four-pound boxes of apples. So... There you go, 48 pounds of apples. Nah. We've got four packages of these yeah. little cuties, my kids call them. Hey, Mom. And these were on instant rebate, a few dollars off, Nico so I got a four pack Nico. of these, uh, the quart size. I had plenty of everything else. Got a, another puppy food. Honestly, I felt silly buying just one because we have so many dogs right now, but I have some already at the house and our carts are overflowing, so we just got one more for now. We'll go back and get I more when we need it. And then um, they had little kids swimming suits and I did not have one for Lydia. I like these because their shoulders don't burn. They have the uh, UPF protection. Why have one, Mama? Uh, you have a swimming suit in our swimming suit box. You already had one. And so I picked that up for her, which she was all excited about. It comes with a little hat. So that was cute. And I think that's everything that we bought. 
Okay, so my grand total was $1,358 for all of this food. Hopefully it will last us well. We'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye-bye.